I can't believe I forgot my backpack. Hello, is anyone here? Wait, what was that noise? Hello? Wait, what the heck was that? So, you want to be Slendrina inside of Robloxian High School. Is this Slendrina? Did I say that right? Hello? Well, if you want to be Slendrina, then I can help you out. Isn't she like the creepiest looking character ever? Anyway, let's do this. This is the finished result that we are going for. And fun fact, did you know that Slendrina is really good at playing football? Oh wait, she's not. Okay, guys, so the first step, as always, is to click the reset avatar button, which is right here at the bottom. Just click that, give it a big old fat click on the green button where it says where, and it will reset your avatar. Wait, what? Which one is the real me? And you will be your beautiful normal self. Hey, mom. I, I don't know what happened. Okay, so once you are your original avatar, what you need to do is remove everything that you were wearing that we're not going to use. So the way to do that is to come up to this box at the top left, click wearing, which is what we're on right now. Then come over to the far right, guys, where it says tuning. You see that tuning box? And you will have everything here that you were wearing that you need to remove. And to remove it is so simple. Simply click all of the boxes you have that are dropping down here. You might have one. You might have 2,364. Okay, maybe not that many. But still, you might have a lot. Just click them all individually and you should look something like this. And if you do, then you're ready to move on to step number two, which is quite simple. Simply come up to where it says wearing here, come over to the body selection. And what we're going to do now is change our bodies to make ourselves like a tall, lanky, decrepit, weird looking old woman. So to do that, guys, the first step we want to do is under the head selection, simply come down to this empty box over here. And if you can't see it for any reason, just search headless. And it is the only option available. As as you can see right there it's remove my head just click it on and off and on and off and seriously i think i've had too much coffee and if it removes your head then you have completed this step so now we have removed our head we need to change the shape of our body so come up to where it says right arm right here and in the box here you're going to want to search woman and it will only give you one option to equip simply click that option it is the woman right arm do it for the left arm do it for the torso and also both legs Ta-da! Now, once you have done this, guys, it is time to adjust the scaling of our body because Slendrina is super tall and skinny. So come up to where it says scaling at the top right. Click advanced. Make the head scale slightly bigger. Make the height a lot bigger and make her skinnier. In fact, maybe not that tall, but still like very tall. Just like that. And now the next step is where things get a little bit creepy so what we're going to want to do is equip an egg for a head yes you heard me right an egg so come up to where it says body again at the top left come over to the wearing box and in the hat selection you're going to want to search pearl just like that and it's the egg right in the middle it's called the egg excellent pearl and it is a beautiful looking pearl and uh yeah that is the head that we're going to use pretty weird right so what we need to do now is adjust this head because it's not going to look like that. That would just be weird. But before we do that, we need to change our animation of our body. So come up to where it says wearing. Come over to the animation selection right here. Remove anything you have typed in here. Make sure it's all removed, otherwise it won't work. And then you're going to want to click the zombie option right here. You see where it says zombie? Make sure you equip it. And now you should be standing exactly like this. Now, once you've done that, we can go back over to the wearing selection. And now come to tuning, where we can finally fine tune this excellent pearl so what i recommend doing is bringing the size down to about here first of all open up the scaling and what you want to do is make it first of all taller just like this you want to make it nice and long and then this is where things get a little bit difficult you want to turn this egg upside down so open the rotation and simply copy exactly what i do which is that now once you've done that close the rotation open up the position and bring the egg up and if you need to, to the side, just like that. And guys, pause the video if you need to, but it should be looking something like this. And now we need to go to the scaling again. Just make it a bit shorter, 
uh, bring it down a bit, guys. This is just a case of playing about with it, make it thinner. Like, she has a very thin head and narrower, and it should look just like that. If yours is looking like that, then well done. Again, guys, this is going to take the longest amount of time in the video, so if you manage to do this, that is the difficult bit over with. And, uh, yeah, you could even just walk around looking like some weird egghead. But if you're ready for the next step, let's continue. So, this is where things get a little bit easier from here on out. So what we need to do now is come back to where it says wearing, come over to the body selection, click the colors palette here, select the lightest blue, and then come down to this final color palette in the bottom right. You'll see it in the very bottom right. Click that, and now we want to adjust the color of our skin just to make it a bit whiter so it matches this white. So just like that. And guys, pause the video if you need to, but as long as you're looking, you know, roughly like this, then you have done a good job. The next step is to change what we're wearing because Slendrina has like this long gown on. She doesn't wear a Roblox t-shirt and shorts. No, not unless she's going to the beach. So to do that is quite simple. Come up to where it says body, come over to wearing, and there will be a shirt and pants selection. Come to the pants selection, click custom pants, and a box will drop down which says input custom pants. In here, you want to insert the following URL code. Guys, pause the screen if you need to, and then click somewhere off of this box, like down here, and then it will load right here and show you what you are equipping. Then, uh, yeah, you just click where, like this, and then you have it equipped. Now, you guys may be wearing a t-shirt. If that's the case, come over to where it says shirts, and then click the box up here, whatever you're wearing, and that will remove the shirt, giving you a nice look just like this so now we have the body of slendrina she has like weird pale blue complexion a long nighty on and a very very long head now it's time to start adding some details to the face so the first thing we want to do guys is come over to where it says hair and simply search manga and basically you will be given three options you want to equip this one right here the big black manga hair it's called black manga hero hair literally equip that and now we're going to want to adjust it so come up to the tuning selection and now open up the position bring it up a bit bring it to the right a bit you just have to play about with it so sit it on the head like where it should sort of be i must say around about there looks pretty good and now we want to open up the scaling make it a bit smaller overall but now you want to make it taller like that. You see how I just made that taller and it drops all the way down? Simply make it taller and it will drop right the way down just like that. Now once you've added her scary looking hair, it's time to equip ourselves a mouth. So to do that, we want to come to where it says face up here. And in the search box, we want to type in snake eyes. And you will have all of these options. Equip this one right here, the green snake eyes. I mean, you could equip the black one, I mean. It's, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just going with the green one for this tutorial. Then come to tuning. And now we're going to basically turn this into a mouth. I know what you're thinking. I've gone crazy. Hang on a minute. Open up the position, the rotation, and the scale. And basically, this is where things might be tricky for some of you, but if you just follow slowly and carefully, it won't be. Bring it forward a bit, bring it down a bit, and then drop this down a bit like this. And now this is where it could get a bit tricky. Make sure you do this right. The rotation needs to come this way a bit, just like this. Then in the scaling selection, we want to make it thin, and we also want to make it as narrow as possible. Now, once we've done that, we want to simply bring this back to the back of the mouth, and then we need to play about with the settings. This is where things are a little bit tricky for some people. Just play about with the settings until you get roughly something that looks like this. And then, guys, you'll be able to now adjust this to make the mouth any shape you want. I'm going to go with something like that. That looks pretty good to me. And now, finally, we just need to add ourselves some gleaming red eyes to Slendrina's face. So to do that, come back to the face selection, which you were just on. Clear the search box and simply search... Patriot vision and if you can't be bothered to type it then just scroll down and you'll see this one right here It's right on the front page and it looks just like this And if you've got this you're ready to come to the tuning selection and begin adjusting it So the same thing applies as before We're just gonna make the scale a bit smaller in fact all the way down open up the position Just bring it to the front so we can see what we're doing and now this is where things are a little bit tricky again You just play about with the settings try and get them as squared up as possible uh, then we go to the left like that, go up, bring them back, sort of like this. 
And guys, this is just like the hard bit. You just got to play it about with the settings. Maybe make them a bit bigger. It's like just playing about with them. But you're basically going for this. And once you have done that, guys, you're finished. Buddy, yes, guys, that is going to be it from me today. If you guys did enjoy this video, then please do hit the subscribe button to join me most awesome family on YouTube. Alternatively, guys, leave a like or comment in the comment section down below. And as you can see on the screen right now, there is a couple of my videos showing you some awesome creations inside of this game. But if I don't happen to see you in one of those videos, then hopefully I see you in the next video. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye!